Minister, you have the floor. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the Honourable Member for this question. Um, and the reason, uh, Madam, uh, Mr. Speaker, is that civil aviation uh, falls under the Attorney General's office. And the question is about uh, Fiji and airlines serving Fiji and the question of neutrality. The issue of airlines serving Fiji is not governed by the tourism Fiji. It's actually governed by the air services agreements. The air services agreements are agreements that actually determine how many times a particular company or airline company can fly into Fiji, how many seats they can bring into Fiji. That's the role of the air services agreement. It's done on a bilateral basis, in other words, between two countries. The role of the air services agreement is completely different to the role of Tourism Fiji. Tourism Fiji is all about marketing Fiji. It's all about branding Fiji and putting Fiji out into the international market to obviously lure visitors to Fiji. Now, the Fiji Airways, which is actually the national carrier of our country, brings close to approximately 70% of all tourism arrivals into Fiji. The bulk of the tourists who come to Fiji, over 95%, actually come by an aeroplane. And of those people that come by an aeroplane to Fiji, nearly 70% come by Fiji Airways. So, Mr. Speaker, sir, there is absolutely wonderful synergy between Fiji Airways and Tourism Fiji. In that, both of them have the same objective of bringing visitors to Fiji, enhancing the growth of tourism arrivals in Fiji, but not just growth in terms of numbers, but also in terms of the yields that we make. So the question uh, I propose, or Mr. Speaker, sir, is actually premised uh, incorrectly, because there's absolutely no conflict of interest between being the chair of Tourism Fiji and being the CEO of Fiji Airways. Uh, there is absolutely no conflict because Tourism Fiji does not determine how many planes come into Fiji. In fact, indeed, under the current chair of Fiji Airways, as chair of Tourism Fiji, Air New Zealand has actually increased its frequency of flights from Christchurch. He has in no way stopped it because that is not his job, that is not his role. He's actually determined through the Air Services Agreement, which is done through the Attorney General's Office. So I would suggest, uh, Honourable uh, Speaker, that the, there is absolutely no question of neutrality in any way being breached by the Chair of Tourism Fiji being the CEO of Fiji Airways. Indeed, we've had other CEOs of Fiji Airways being uh, of Chair of Tourism Fiji. Dave Fligger, Stefan Pilcher, who are also Chairpersons of Tourism Fiji whilst being CEOs of Fiji Airways. In that period also, We've had Virgin Airways coming to the market, increasing the number of flights. We've had other airlines increasing the flights. Indeed, Qantas is now going to fly their own metal, or in other words, their own aircraft, very soon, whilst the chair of Tourism Fiji is the CEO of Fiji Airways. So there's absolutely no conflict. There's no conflict. There's no breaches of any of neutrality. Thank you. I thank the Honourable Minister.